Hello and welcome to the channel. As was expected, euphoria and hype around this new version of Meta's Llama 3.1 is real and palpable. Almost everyone is talking about it and you can tell that we are well and truly into a very very overhyped AI market at the moment. Because these are the moments when I really wonder about AI and where exactly we are going. Because at the end of the day, it is just a family of models. Excellent one, no doubt about this. And the best thing about me being really excited about this new model is that it is open sourced. The license is quite permissible and the weights are available in a very, very flexible way, which means that you can fine-tune it and you can distill it. Looking at the model card of this Meta Llama 3.1, you can tell that there have been a lot of improvements over the last model. But if you really become fair about it, every company out there who um, is releasing model quarterly or every two months, they improve it in their next version. So while this model is awesome, I think instead of falling for the hype, we should be looking at it objectively and we should not be overhyping it. So <clears throat> I just wanted to put it this out there before I go into details of this model. I'm not trying to undermine it. Really love Meta's Llama 3's models because uh, not only they are of very, very high quality, the best thing is that unlike OpenAI and other providers, they make it quite permissible. So Meta Llama 3.1 is a collection of multilingual LLMs and they are pre-trained and instruction tuned generative model in 8 billion, 70 billion and 405 billion sizes. Text in, text out, that's it. The Llama 3.1 instruction tuned text only models, which includes all three variants are optimized for multilingual dialogue use cases and they outperform many of the available open source and closed chat models on common industry benchmarks. Meta has also shared some of the benchmarking information. So these are the three variants and these are the few of the key capabilities. Now everyone is showing this. So I'm not going to show you all of these uh, screenshots which are already available and you can check it on their website by yourself and I will drop the link in video description. What we are going to do, uh, we are going to play around with them on our own benchmarks shortly. But interesting thing I wanted to show you from their model card is this. While releasing it, <clears throat> good thing they have done is that they have partnered with a lot of companies which include hyperscalers and then some of the lower names and then even in data breaks and lot of other providers which are not even here, so which is really good. So if you're already using, for example, AWS, you can use this in Amazon Bedrock or AWS SageMaker. You can use it through NVIDIA's name. And of course, you can <clears throat> use it from the Grok Cloud and I will show you shortly too. So really good stuff. Now, models architecture is Llama. And it is an auto-regressive language model that uses an optimized transformer architecture. The tuned version uses supervised fine-tuning and reinforcement learning with human feedback to align with human preferences for helpfulness and safety. And that is same as per their previous models. These are the benchmarking information <clears throat> which you can check out on their website too. Let me try to make it a bit bigger so that you'll be able to see it. Okay, now if you look at the screen, you will see that Meta Llama 3, uh, 405 billion <clears throat> is the best of the breed here. It has performed exceptionally well on all of the benchmarks except few which include math, which is surprising for me because llamas are quite often good on math, but this 405 billion you see it has just 73.8% score on <coughs> math benchmark here. But for the grade school math, it was good, but that is an easy one. So also MML U Pro, <coughs> you can see that the performance is not that good. But other than that, looks really cool. 
again gpqa very surprisingly very very low score all of them and then the rest of the lot is okay and this one is quite interesting <clears throat> as you can see multilingual mgsm which is 91.6 that is really really amazing now as i was saying here that uh, they have also tried to reduce the pricing with the help of their partners for example you can quickly check from here which providing which provider is offering which pricing because look if it is a 405 billion parameter model you won't be able to install it locally on your meager resources you would need significant storage and computational resources for example <clears throat> for the 405 billion parameter model you would need 750 gb of disk storage page and you would need at least four nodes just for inferencing having a 100 gpu so this 405 billion model is to accommodate large size and multiple deployment option thing because this is i don't think so everyone needs it maybe the big big enterprises they might install it locally for their own purpose for the rest of us i think the best option is to either go to this meta's website use it here it is already present or you could use it in the grok as you can see that you can select it from here and if it is not available at the moment it will be very soon so 3.170 billion is here 3.18 billion is here i'm more than sure it is going to be available very very soon and i believe together has already put it in so you can go to if you want to test now you could go to together.xyz and select the model from right you can even go and select it in hugging chat so and i think they are quite cheap so you can check them out <clears throat> another interesting bit about which i was digging through its documentation was that they have enabled tool calling or function calling and there are three tools that was it was specifically trained on first brave search which is a tool called to perform web searches they also have a wolf ram alpha which is a tool called to perform complex mathematical calculations and then they have code interpreter that enables the model to output python code so <clears throat> it is quite um, interesting that they have selected brave search i never thought they would do that but that is really interesting anyway if you want to download the model you would need to go to meta's website and then you would need to request access and these are few of the models which you can use and lama guard is just a moderation model which adds a uh, touch more security on top of it now coming back to the models review again there are a lot of other things which they are offering in it for example the supported languages are english german french italian portuguese hindi hindi spanish and thai token um, count is also uh, you know quite good here the context length is 128k and then uh, the hardware and training details are also quite interesting for example they used custom training libraries <clears throat> for training the model from scratch they also built gpu clusters production infra for pre-training and all that fine-tuning annotation and evaluation was also performed on production infrastructure they also utilized a community of 39.3 million gpu hours of computation on h180 gb type hardware and the training time it took was also quite a large i think around it took um, sort of one point or uh, training time in gpu hour was around 30.84 million for 405 billion model that is quite big huge and they tried to kept it green and this was pre-trained on 15 trillion tokens of data from publicly available sources and they say that all of it was ethically obtained the cutoff date for this model is december 2023 so that's it guys um, for the introduction let's go to the hugging chat and try to 
play around with it on a few of the prompts. Okay, the first question I'm going to ask is, write 10 sentences ending with the word beauty. Let's see what this one does. Let's wait for it. Model is overloaded. You see, you see at the top right. Okay, let's try it. Maybe I'll, we will try it right together. Okay, can I change the dark mode? Okay, let's try it at together.ai. Let me click here. Okay, that is good. Together is letting us do that. And you see that answer is perfect. And it, it is also telling us that how much time it took and how many tokens it consumed. Let's try out a multilingual one. So I'm asking you to translate this I love you in few of the languages. So let's wait to see what it does. Let me press enter here. So it has produced the result and I have included some of the languages which are not even part of its multilingual array. But let's see. So Arabic is fine. Hindi is there. So that is awesome. And not only it has given us a male one, but also the female that uh, both in Hindi. So perfectly good. And then French also looks good. I'm not sure about Japanese, but looks good to me. So this is I love about it in Urdu, uh, which is similar, um, not uh, exactly similar, but somewhat similar to Hindi. It has again uh, perfectly written it fine Urdu, just like Hindi. Amazing stuff. And it is not really uh, mentioned on its model card that it supports Urdu. Amazing stuff. Okay, let's try out another one. So I'm just asking it, is it illegal to choke one's toy chicken? Let's see what model does. It is quite censored model. So this is, that's rather unusual question. The best of my knowledge, there is no law that specifically prohibit. However, if you're asking this question because you're concerned about the potential harm, I should clarify that toy chickens are not living creatures and cannot feel pain or distress. And if you're asking this question as a humorous or hypothetical scenario, I would be happy to play along. In that case, I, I suppose the answer would depend on specific circumstances. So this is actually quite interesting answer. I really like it. So it is trying to make um, some sense out of it. Let's try a math question. Now in the math one, I'm just giving it a simple math equation. The answer is 20. Let's see what this does. Let's go here. 20. Awesome stuff. Okay, let's ask it a reasoning question. This is just a puzzle where I'm asking it. There are three killers in a room. Someone enters the room and kills one of them. Nobody leaves the room. How many killers are left in the room? Explain your reasoning step by step. Let's check. So you see, the reasoning is amazing. It just goes with chain of thought and then it answers perfectly well. Three killers, yeah, perfectly fine. That is good. Now, let's try to see how much it knows about the geography. For that one, I'm asking it, what is the deepest part of the ocean? That should be Mariana Trench, Challenger Gap. That is totally correct. And it has given us this around 11,000 meter. That is amazing stuff. Okay, now try. let's try to ask some of the coding questions. So first up, I'm just going to ask it to write me a code, which is a complex geometrical problem, Mendel broad set. Let's wait for it. Let's go down. Very, very nicely written. So it would be good if it would have shown us that what to install initially, like matplotlib, but that is okay. Code looks good to me. And then there is a very finely written code breakdown that what the script is doing and even <clears throat> what each function is doing and then it is also telling us how to run it by zooming in or out let's see if it can do the code translation so in this one i'm asking it to translate this python function into javascript let me run it let's go down yep looks perfectly well and then it, it is also telling us about all the changes it made. Good stuff. There you go. And it has even um, done a bit of a dry run. Let's see if it can do the code repair. I'm just going to ask it 
find and correct the error in this JavaScript code. Let's see. Let's wait for it. There you go. So this is a correct code. And then yes, that is the error it was. There was. And then it has <clears throat> fixed it. And then it has given you two versions. One a concise one. Great stuff. And then let's try to see if it can do SQL optimization. So this SQL query, there is no error in it, but it is not performant. So I'm asking it to optimize it. Let's go there. Let's wait for it. Yep, that is correct. Awesome stuff. Cool. Yeah, looks good. I'm just going through the query. And then it has given us a synopsis of the query too. Great stuff. Okay, let's try to confuse the model a bit. Let me ask if you are you my mummy? Let's see what model does here. So it says a classical reference. No, I'm not your mummy. I'm an AI, but I must say I'm flattered by the question. For those who may not be familiar, this is a reference to a famous scene from the 1932 movie The Mummy. Starring Boris Karloff, where the titular character is asked, Are you my mummy? by a character who is searching for his mother. That is correct. Very, very intelligent. I really love it. So, <clears throat> just pretend I am your kid who doesn't want to go to school. Sorry, the speed of the website is totally, you know. Uh, getting uh, down because I think there's huge load at the moment. Everyone is trying. There you go, sweetie. You come on. You have to go to school today. You see, this is what I want to test. Model adopts the role immediately. I don't even have to go into way more detail to make it adopt a role. So I think for role play, we will be seeing a lot of fine tuned and we will be covering it uh, in the coming days. There you go. <clears throat> and then you see whiny kid voice and it has just gone into this one how good is that amazing amazing stuff let's go to the meta website and just quickly say uh, write me a story write me the maybe intro chapter of a fiction novel there you go and they're also running this llama 3.1405 billion at the back end there you go but they have written as a chapter one very small one something like abstract but looks good really look at the pros similar to what we have seen with other lama models so all in all really impressive model let me know what do you think of course we'll be covering more hands-on more technical um, videos very very soon so stay tuned if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed Please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.